Hello, hello, my amazing, beautiful, creative friends. Uh, Xanti here again. I'm a textile designer and uh, artist, and in this video, I wanted to talk about which Adobe Illustrator version is best for repeat pattern design, or in particular, vector repeat pattern design. So, stay tuned. It is based purely on my experience about this topic uh, and basically works with my own workflow so it might be different for different people but this is my experience how it works for me. I started using Adobe Illustrator 10 years ago. I think I had uh, uh, Adobe Illustrator CS4 4? something like that so I started with that but over time I upgraded and upgraded and upgraded and um, now I am using Adobe Illustrator CC 2015, Creative Cloud 2015. And the reason why I don't use the latest version of Adobe Illustrator is that every time I upgrade to the latest version, many of my um, workflows and actions and scripts and templates stop working. So that's basically the reason why I don't use the latest version. But for me, at this point, uh, 2015 works great and it integrates very well with everything. And many people have been asking me which uh, Adobe Illustrator your version I use. So yeah, this is it. A tip about migrating from uh, different version to version, updating your versions, is that I set up an Evernote file together with my iMac my Mac OS folder where I keep all the copies of all my symbol libraries, all my uh, action folders, all my uh, color uh, swatches libraries. They are all safe in there and I have a workflow set up in Evernote that tells me exactly what I need to do one I update to a new version of Adobe Illustrator and also I have a workflow set up in Evernote for how to set up my uh, Wacom Intuos for uh, this for update. Basically it's um, if I actually happen to change uh, Mac OS, update Mac OS. This has been working very well for me and um, you can basically save um, almost any of your customizations in Adobe Illustrator in a specific folder and then you just pull uh, from the folder. And if you need to set up your workspaces, what I do is that actually now I think with this 2015 I were able to copy the workspaces but uh, it's saved. If you are very happy with your work and particular workspace, how it works for you, Take a screenshot of everything, how it looks, and save it to you somewhere. I save it in my Evernote as a screenshot, and it really, really helps once the day comes and you need to update or you need to reinstall your computer or do something like crazy like that. And it's been very helpful. My husband really helps me with that, so I'm not super technical with things like that, but I'm lucky to have him and mwah, thank you, honey, for helping me with all these technical issues. There you have it, I use Adobe Illustrator Creative Cloud 2015 for my uh, vector repeat pattern design work and uh, it worked very well after I transitioned from uh, Adobe Illustrator CS5 uh, a year ago. So th thank you very much for watching this video. If you found it helpful while deciding which Adobe Illustrator version to choose for your own work, um, please hit that like button below, please leave your questions in the comments down below and share this video and subscribe to my channel for more um, textile design related uh, topics and Adobe Illustrator tutorials too. So uh, thank you once again for watching and see you in my next video. Bye!